So you just saw the creative briefing we did this morning and uh, we thought we maybe share some more insights about how we produce the stuff because that's kind of a question we get from time to time. Like, how do you guys plan what you do? How's the week? So um, we do this creative work for the last three years now and I can tell you it's always a run. So it kind of feels like a rush all the time. That's why I have my editing backpack with me even for a meeting we have now because after the meeting I have now with a client or potential client, I will do some editing work. But how we do we actually get to the plan? This morning we planned the podcast. So we had a list of 150 people who are on the podcast list for potential meetings and appointments. And we have to synchronize from time to time. So in that group, we sync for like at least every eight weeks to like go through and see if that's still the priority. And the daily stuff we do, we have a, um, a WhatsApp group where we do a creative um, voice message every morning, like a creative briefing. So everyone who's in the creative team gives his one minute creative brief and saying like, that's what I do. It's like a stand up, but you can choose when you want to listen to what the other guys are saying, because we don't want to be at eight o'clock at the same spot every morning. And we try to do it at eight or nine, like before nine o'clock every morning. And then the important stuff is that we then sync before 12, which means we go through the calendar, we look ahead what's coming up, we look into the current projects. Without that overview, like the briefing and then the syncing, without that overview, we always run short when it comes to content. Even if we just let the camera roll and like wait for the good footage to come. Because sometimes we miss something, we don't see something in the calendar. And I didn't find another way to like do that. Even with Slack and all the other tools, we need these two things every morning. So this is how we actually do the creative process. And the videos and the podcasts are like two different channels. The content is like unique for each of the channels and somehow it all needs to come together. This is how we do it. So we're almost done with the keynote and it was a quite a packed day. It's not the end of the day yet. We're still in the middle of the process, but um, I wanted to give you a glimpse also not into the creative workflow what keeps us going like this routine because that's the most important thing to like keep going in a frequent basis but also to like work on the creative process and i mean keynotes and the content is not our product what we're doing is new work like that's the like the consulting the tools the work style the attitude all this stuff around we bring that to companies so we have a consulting business and this keynote here, other than the others, is about this new work topic. And especially about the moment when I realized, when we were sitting in an arbor with Fridjof, and I realized, holy shit, what we're doing and what most of the other companies are doing is not new work. So in that moment, we came up with the core idea for the keynote, which is called, this is not new work. And then a whole story around that. And we actually combined that. We started this morning with like brainstorming, Googling stuff, Googling images, then putting together a Google slide doc, which we can all use and share. Then we took away the technology and did the fine tuning on actual um, steady notes on the, um, on the wall. And when we had a moment and we were stuck, we thought like, why don't we just use what we have close by, which is the river. Elbe and we took a walk and then we actually came up with a final idea to close the story but I won't share that now because we will have a premiere this week when we present the keynote and instead of just building slides we thought we make so many movies why don't we make a keynote out of movies so the whole keynote is like one movie so this is quite intense to curate now we are using After Effects combined with Premiere Pro I now have to get back to the computer actually to like find some other videos that we need. And we actually shot some actual material just for that keynote. So this is about this process. What I would love to know from you guys is what kind of content are you curious about? What kind of storylines are you curious about? Because to me, a good keynote is more about like a good storyline. I called it adult entertainment. I know it's not this kind of adult entertainment, but it's still adult entertainment because a good keynote is not just fact, fact, fact. It's a good story. So what kind of storylines do you like? What, of, what kind of good keynotes do you guys like? And then we will share what we are preparing here. This being said, don't forget to subscribe down here. And there's another video for you to watch. And now I leave you guys 
with uh, the next video and uh, I hope I see you next week. Thanks.